Hi, it's Pavel, and today's homework is uh, Visual Basic homework uh, from Introduction to uh, Programming using Visual Basic 2012. It's uh, Chapter 3, Project 2, and uh, the assignment is on the screen. Suppose uh, repair customers are billed at the rate of $35 uh, per hour of labor. And also suppose cost, costs for parts and supplies are subject to 5% sales tax. Uh, so we'll write a program that displays the bill. Uh, the user will supply the customer name, the hours of labor, and the cost of the parts. Uh, this will be uh, coming through via text boxes. And then when a button is clicked, uh, the bill will be displayed in a list box. Now I already made a form. I mean, you don't have to really watch me make the form. It's simple, few labels, three text boxes, button and a list box. That's all there is to it. Of course, don't forget to name them. Like for example, this one, the button is called button display. Customer's name text box is text name. Hours of labor is uh, well, text labels. Text, uh, text labor and cost parts is uh, text parts and of course list display all right well let's uh, let's do this so uh, let's declare some variables so we need the dim uh, labor uh, hours uh, we'll need which is going to be a double because it could be you know three four, three and a half hours. It doesn't have to be an integer. But also parts uh, cost. It could be a double and uh, the total cost. Total cost could be a double. So that's double. And then we have a customer name as. Uh, of course, we have to dim customer name as string. All right. Um, so now let's do the calculations. But uh, you know what? The uh, we want to make sure that the hours of labor and cost parts are numbers. And if they're not. We will display a message. We don't want to. Otherwise, we, you know, if user enters uh, a string into what's supposed to be a double, then we're gonna get an exception. So let's uh, prevent that. So if uh, is numeric text uh, labor dot text and is numeric uh, text parts the text and we can also check if the uh, name is was entered as well so it's, it's simply if uh, and text uh, name that text is not empty then uh, we can do the calculations else message box uh, please enter valid uh, data whatever all right uh, so um, we're going back to uh, the if statement so if everything is entered correctly, then we will assign labor hours equals uh, C double text labor uh, parts cost equals C double 
text uh, part that text is to of course text box dot text customer name name e equals text name dot text it's already string so that's okay and let's do the calculation so we have a uh, the labor cost uh, labor cost we need to declare that so not just total cost but also labor cost labor cost and like that so labor cost labor cost equals and that's the labor hours times whatever is the hourly rate which is 35 but you know what uh, this is like the magic number we should more probably do constant uh, labor our cost and it equals 35 so instead of using the number we will use the variable this way if the changes we'll just change it here and the calculations will be performed correctly and we will do the same actually with the tax with the tax uh, which is gonna be um, just tax and that equals uh, how much was it for the five percent so it's a 0 0.05 I'll make this integer as integer tax as a double all right so we got the labor cost now the parts cost equals um, Parts uh, equals the color. All right, we need one more after all. Parts. This is what's going to be entered. Oh, never mind. We're already entering a parts cost, so it's, we need a total. Parts cost total parts cost that's double so this is not gonna be parts cost this is what's going to be entered via text box so it's gonna be total parts cost equals parts cost times the tax uh, now this will this is uh, it will equal parts cost plus this this is over here we'll calculate the total tax and then we will add it to the parts cost and assign it to the total parts cost variable. Whoa, that's a mouthful. All right, so uh, we calculated labor cost, parts cost, and now we're gonna get the total cost. Um, total cost equals labor cost plus total parts cost. And now all we have to do is just display it in the list box. So list box display dot um, items dot add. And we will add customer and customer name list display dot items dot add. We will add a labor cost and it's gonna be. 
Uh, this is actually not the, not the cost. Yeah, labor cost. We got the parts cost. Items that add parts cost and it's gonna be total parts cost and finally we'll output the total cost that items that add total cost and and it's gonna be total cost all right uh, let's see what we get my right, customer's name is Pavel hours of labor let's say 10.5 and let's say it's 150.90 cents display bill all right, so uh, let's get a calculator and see if that adds up. So 10.5 times 35, 367.5. Now the parts, I entered 150.9 times 0 0.05, and we'll add it again to 150.9. And the total is 158,445, which makes the total of uh, 367.5 of the labor cost 525,945. So calculations work, but uh, you know, all right, let's try some other one. Level two, that's five hours and 100. Uh, we have to clear the the list box, but five hours times thirty-five, so that's one seventy-five. Hundred and five would be hundred plus five percent is five, so that's hundred and five, and total is two hundred and eighty. So the calculations work, but let's do some uh, formatting. First of all, before it is the button is clicked, I mean after the button is clicked, let's uh, clear the uh, the list box so items uh, clear so this way it will refresh the output all right and here we can uh, the customer is okay let's just make it so it's uh, you know uh, format currency labor cost Uh, we just go copy that, place it here, place it here. All right, we need the end brackets like that. So now it should output a nice formatted output. Uh, so let's try again. That's Pavel, hours five, cost of parts is 100, and display bill. And we have uh, yeah we have dollar sign two did two decimals so let's say we got 5.5 now it should refresh the new output should output there right so that it is all right so um, yeah that's all so really that's uh, that was a fairly simple exercise uh, to a recap we're holding the labor hour cost in a constant because that does not change the same with the tax we'll check if the labor text box and the parse text box because since they're supposed to hold uh, numbers we'll make sure that they're numeric if they're not numeric that includes if they're empty then a message box will be displayed let's let's test that we didn't test that uh, Please enter valid data. All right, so and of course we also take make sure that the name was entered as well. And if everything was entered, we'll assign the values to our variables. 
will calculate the labor cost, which is simple the hours times whatever the 35. And yeah, we'll calculate the parts cost, which is the total part, which is the parts cost, cost plus the tax for the parts cost. And then we'll add these two together to get a total cost and just output formatted uh, output in the uh, uh, display. I mean, I mean in the uh, list box. All right, so uh, there you have it. Like I said easy hope you didn't have any problems with that yourself and uh, i'll see you next uh, video take care